hi guys i'm so happy to be with you again welcome if you are new here in this video i'll be showing you some tips and tricks to achieve this beautiful afro natural looking wig i made but before we get to it let me give you this small motivational message which keeps me going so this message is um write it shoot it publish it my sis crochet it suit it whatever make it whatever you desire to do do it stand up i mean motivate yourself that you can do it and trust me you will succeed so without further ado let me show you how i did this beautiful work Okay, we've gotten this motivational message for ourselves and I hope whatever you desire to do, you are going to do it. So, I will start by putting the cap on the mannequin's head and then secure it with T pins so that it doesn't come off when I'm crocheting it. And this wig cap as very cheap i know i think in africa it's um in ghana it's one city in nigeria as 100 naira i think and the u.s and other parts of the countries i really don't know the price and i'm using expression serious kinky hair a crochet pin and a scissors with the kinky hair you can use any kinky hair brand you like this is what i was having at the moment and this is what i used to achieve so if you don't have it in your area or your country that you are staying in you can use any kinky hair so far as it is kinky i mean the name is kinky you can use it so I cut the hair into four equal parts and then I start crocheting it from the back. Now, do you remember I told you in the beginning of the video, I will be giving you some tips. One of it is to take smaller amount of hair to crochet. I don't know if you get me don't pick bigger amounts of hair to crochet pick smaller amounts to crochet your i mean wick that will give you a perfect natural looking afro hair that um anyone who sees it will be like is that your natural hair because that was the question i was getting is that your natural hair although my natural hair seems like it's um you know it's a bit i mean many than this Pff, i don't know but people were asking me oh your hair looks natural your hair looks beautiful and you know it was full your hair looks fuller your hair looks um thick yeah that was the word that old man used your hair looks full i was i mean i was going to buy things at the supermarket and one man one old man saw me was like oh your hair looks full your hair looks thick i'm like thank you is that your natural hair oh yes so at that point after saying oh yes I quietly said, oh God, forgive me. I lied to this man. But hey, it was my natural hair. <laughs> okay, enough of the stories. The second tip I'll give you is um, you have to be generous with the holes you pick to crochet through. I don't know if you understand 
I made a wig before this and I used the same wig cap but after I'm done I couldn't wear the wig because I was passing four to five holes to crochet through so here I'll be crocheting it I'm almost through with it I'll be crocheting it in a circle form now back to the story I'm telling you I made a wig and I used the same wig cap and the same hair I mean everything I'm using here the same crochet pin everything and after I'm done with it I couldn't wear the wig because it became too small you understand although this wig cap expands and it's stretchy but I couldn't wear the wig because I was picking four to five holes because I, I really wanted um to finish quick so instead of picking two holes i don't know whether you get me pass through only two holes not four to five because after you are done with the wig you can't wear it if you have i mean big head like myself you can't wear it so pass through two holes to crochet and that is the best after you are done with your wig it looks i mean you saw me now you saw me you understand so you pass through two only two only two holes don't be picking four holes because you want it fast fast you want to finish quick quick <laughs> so you've made it far here yeah? yummy if you are new here I mean, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to be a member of the Yummy Squad. And I know this video will be helpful to you because you are enjoying this tips I am giving you. And oh, lest I forget, tip number three. Don't use big crochet pin. I mean, the one with big um, pin. This is a medium um, pin. I'm using not a big pin, the medium one. So, um, I want you to do three things. I mean, four rather. So, I want you to do these four things for me, yummy. Subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And kindly share me out so ah, uh, oh yes you just did thank you very much may the good God show his favor upon you so I'm done crocheting since I want a big fro like my hair um, so that I can deceive I mean in quotes people it's my hair I'm not going to trim it so much, just um, I'll be cutting small, small pieces from it and my full wig looking all natural as is ready. So who will ever think it's not my hair? <laughs> me if you had met me on the road you'd be like hey yummy your hair is beautiful hey i'm deceiving you at my wig <laughs> thank you for watching as always be safe and stay out of trouble so we we'll meet in my next video kindly subscribe hit the notification bell like this video share me out to your family and friends on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, whatever. And let's be friends on all social networks. So we meet again. Tschüss.